Hello, my name is Andre. I'm a scientist here at Zimmer Peacock. What I'm going to show you is uh, is to make a small demonstration about the potassium sensor. So I'm going to show how we test them. This is a typical potassium sensor, which has an ion sensitive membrane on the top of the working electrode, which is the dark one, the carbon electrode, and a reference um, and counter electrodes made of silver, silver chloride. So what I'm going to do first is to connect this sensor to this potential stat that's connected to the PC and then I'm going to use PBS so PBS has a potassium concentration of 2.7 millimolar so, um, so it won't be, it's not a uh, potassium free solution I'm just going to add 50 microliters on the top of the working electrode it is important to have some chloride in the solution uh, because, because the reference electrode is made of silver, silver chloride. So that means that you will deplete the electrode if you don't have any chloride in the solution. So the, the potential stat is connected to the PC. I'm going to start running. This is just for information. So I'm using a T sampling interval of one second. And uh, I'm going to run it for 500 seconds. In this case, it could be 100 seconds. It's just to show. And this is a typical response to different concentrations of potassium for this uh, th membrane thickness. So I started running. Uh, if we wait a bit, we'll see the baseline very soon. Here it is. So here's the baseline. And um, what I'm going to do now is, since we don't want to add chloride, uh, because... We, this, we, this sensor is basically based on the principle of the Nernst equation. So we just w want, uh, we would see a change in the chloride concentration would actually change our potential. So we're going to add a solution that is chloride free. In this case is um, potassium dehydrogen phosphate in the eye water, one more solution. And we got just, in this case, I'm not actually... Um, I don't know how much uh, concentration am I going to change, but I'm just going to add a bit so that you can see the step showing the change in concentration. So if you look at the graph, you can see how it looks. And now I'm going to add on the top of this PBS solution. That's it. I add the potassium. So you see the step there. So this is how we test. Uh, so you would have to account for the volume if you want to try different concentrations or lower concentrations and uh, I hope this helps you in, uh, in your testing. Thank you.